So WordPress is a really commonly used website system. Originally it was uh, designed for blogging websites where you could uh, post your thoughts or your blogs onto a web page really easily but now loads of people use WordPress just for any website because it's so easy to set up. I want to show you how you can use Roman Cart with WordPress to open an online store and literally it just takes a couple of minutes. Uh, we've got a WordPress site here. Uh, we've signed up for it at uh, wordpresscart.co.uk that's our domain name and you'll see at the moment it's just using one of their default templates uh, we've just got saying WordPress shopping cart and literally this is almost like exactly what it looks like when you uh, when you first sign up obviously the, the template might be something different but uh, uh, this is it uh, and now all I'm going to do is paste a shop in as a post so if we just click on add new under the posts section obviously uh, depending on which version of WordPress you're using uh, it might be slightly different but but posting to the website is like a fundamental part of, of WordPress so I'm sure you'll be able to uh, see that option on there somewhere if I click on add new now I'm just going to give it a title of instant online store on WordPress now I'm just going to paste in four lines of code that come from Roman Cart, and I'll show you where you get those in a few moments. Click on Publish. Now if I go back to the website, click Refresh, and instantly our WordPress site has become an online shop. Uh, we can navigate through. This is a demo store selling action cameras. If we take a look, GoPro, and you can give it decorations like this one that say just in. It's getting all of this information from Roman Cart. So to manage the actual store, you do it all on Roman Cart. You don't need to change any code on your actual WordPress site. Uh, so let's have a look at one of these products. Right, it gives you a description, it's got the price, and it can be more complex than that as well. If we look at uh, memory cards, you'll see that uh, these have got different sizes. And when you click on a different size, the picture updates, the price updates, and if the stock were any different, that would show as well. And so let's actually buy something. Let's just buy this 64 gig uh, memory card. If I click on add to bag, you'll see there's like a mini cart up here that updates. Now if I click on open bag, uh, we can go to the normal Roman cart. You'll see the item in there and we can go and pay using the checkout. So let's see, uh, and if I click on continue shopping, it will take us back to the WordPress site. So let's see exactly how that's set up and where you get the code from. If we take a look, this is the Roman cart control panel associated with that particular store. And you'll see in the product manager, uh, not only have we got the products listed, but we've given them images, as you can see here, and descriptions. And this is part of a system that we call Roman Cart Storefront. So it's template based. Uh, if you click on Configure Appearance Roman Cart Storefront, you'll see the different templates that are available. At the moment, we've just got the standard template. Uh, if you wanted to create your own, you simply click on the Copy icon there, which I'll do now. And then that creates a copy of default storefront in your user area. And you can edit this. If I was to open this, you can edit the different temp parts of the template that make up uh, this particular uh, storefront uh, and have it looking exactly as you want. There's also an image repository for any images you want to add uh, which help your kind of layout. And then uh, the other thing you need to do to get the code you just simply click on website, add a storefront to your website and this is where you get the code to paste onto your WordPress website. You just simply cut and paste that code there straight onto WordPress and instantly your storefront, your online store will appear on your WordPress website.